Hey, 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 it's a brand new day here on Gillen Farms, and I'm Johnny. And uh, Christine was out here just a moment ago helping me out, as you saw. And she has some things she's got to take care of. But anyway, um, what I've got here is I've got a chicken coop that I purchased. Um, they sell these in, in town near where we live. And it is a, um, well... It's got a very heavy duty screen door on it. Very heavy. I mean, that thing, if you let it go, that's like a bear trap. And then inside, it has nesting boxes built in. But what usually happens is I change the nesting boxes out for a different nesting box. And it has a roosting bar here, and then it has a little bar for them to jump up on it to get in there. And what I'm going to be using this for right now. At this moment, what I'm going to be using this one for right at this moment is uh, we have our meat chickens, which are ranger chickens, in here. And you can see those. Those are the great big chickens back there eating out of the feeder. And they are ready for freezer camp, basically. And they're in here with our Rhode Island Reds and... Uh, they're pretty much ter they terrorize our Rhode Island Reds. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the meat chickens out and I'm going to put them in there for now until we can hopefully butcher them this weekend. And that'll help us because we won't be able we won't uh, we won't actually you know we have to go 24 hours without feed before we butcher them. So we'll be able to not feed them and. Uh, get them ready to butcher. And then what I'm gonna do is I've got some buff Orpingtons and things like that in the little bitty coop, and I'm going to transfer them into the big coop with these chickens. So that is the plan. So anyway, um, I've, all I've gotta do is I've, got, I've just gotta, there's a board that I've gotta screw on right there because the way this thing is sitting, this ground is very unlevel back here. Way this is setting, I'm going to screw that down to keep anything from getting under a, a little gap that it's got right there. It's pretty much good the rest of the way around uh, for now. And eventually, this whole thing will end up just like this over here. Because this is another one of those exact same buildings that I, we purchased. And I just built a frame under it a platform and set it on that built external nesting boxes and all that stuff so yep yeah, i'm going to build it's going to be just like this only it's going to be right where it's at and the run is going to go the run is going to go on over here like this so there's going to be a, a run run into it right over here and the nesting boxes will be on the other end of it. So, yep, that's the plan. And we'll put a, we'll have another one of those uh, automatic doors, the run chicken doors, right here. So they'll be able to come in and out. So this run will be like an L. And that little chicken coop right there, we'll we'll move it, and it'll it'll end up being a. It'll end up being in a different spot. Uh, we just use it like as a brooder and stuff like that, or if we need to isolate something. So anyway, that is the plan on this. But the main thing was I had to get the trailer freed up because I've got something I've got to go do. I've got to I've got to take the tractor over to the other property and do some work. So anyway, I think I'm going to get started on that.
all about. All right, everybody, I have made it out here to the cattle farm. I have got the Kubota, and I'm getting ready to jump it off here and hook it to what's left of our pretty poor condition old brush hog that we've got here. And uh, got some work to do on this place. So let's get started doing that. I guess the first thing I should do is I've got a very, very leaky front axle seal on the on this tractor. And uh, you can see the grease right there. So what I have done is I've brought just an old jug of grease that I had. And I'm gonna put that in here real quick just so there's some kind of lubricant in there whenever we're going around through here. Got a reach. Not too bad. And what I'll do is I'll put some grease in this just to make sure that we don't tear anything up while we're over here. I can probably just pour that in there. That's a pretty big hole. Yeah. Let's pour it in. That's not a really heavy grease. It's, it's an 80-90. And it probably needs a 9140, but I don't have any of that wood, any of that, so and I wasn't gonna go buy any. So just like I said, it just leaks right out. I've got the parts to fix it. Just haven't had the time to fix it.
to do this field right here now. Unfortunately, <laughs> it seems to happen way too often than not. Uh, I got, I had no audio at the last part of my brush hogging video. So uh, I had to come back out here and, and kind of finish this up. So anyway, I got all the, the briars and, and things all brush hogged down, uh, all up on the hill, all, all this out here. There's some way over there on the other side of the palm bank that I've still got to catch, but not very many. Uh, I brush hogged all the all up in here where I planted and created all this pasture. So the brush hogging in this is basically done. So there's there's very little left to do. So I'll be able to move on to something else now. But anyway, I just wanted to finish out that that video and uh, and the cows are all consent they're just kind of laying here in the shade right now 
nobody's bellering so apparently they've got they've still got food in this paddock uh, that they can eat so usually if they don't they'll bums rush me whenever i come through that gate right there and uh, they haven't bums rushed me they've been in here at this point approximately uh five days so um we'll give them two or three more days in here and then we'll move them up to the uh, mean girls paddock but anyway, if you like this type of video, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll continue to bring more content in the future as available. And as always, everybody, God bless.